Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you the difference between the previous version Garmin Vivo Active 3 and then the latest Garmin Vivo Active 4 and actually 4S in there. So um, I got Vivo Active 3 about four years ago and uh, I really like this watch. I have been using it for four years. It's just that recently the battery is really dying. That's why I was looking for a new watch in there. Uh, the screen actually looks pretty good. Uh, you see some crack in there. That's just my screen protector in there. But then the screen is actually still holding up very well. Um, so uh, between these two watches, first of all, I, I like both, right? They are kind of uh, a very uh, entry-level uh, fitness um, watch that... Uh, uh, monitor your health and track your uh, activities and workout and they're both gps watch um, they have a lot of typical garmin stuff for example they are able to track your steps track your sleep not only sleep time but then different stages of sleep um maybe i can show you one example me here um, like it will show you different stages of your sleep so um, pretty detailed data in there uh, it is able to both they are able to tell uh, the number of floor you climb during the day they are both gps watch that means um, uh, it doesn't rely on your the gps from your phone uh, if you just uh, go for a run without your phone just with a watch it is able to track your route uh, your speed and give you all the data in there uh, they have about similar battery life so if you go to garmin's op official website they will probably claim that uh, the battery life is about seven days but then that's just ideal situation if you do some gps workout every day if you re receive some notification during the day on your watch my experience is the battery life is about four days so uh, which is um so so the new watch has a four days battery life and my old watch one it was new the battery life was about four days too so um they have a lot of similarity now let's talk about the difference so i would say there are about five difference between the two watches so the number one difference is about the size so the previous version <clears throat> vivo active 3 they only offer one standard size i believe this is the 45 millimeter screen so um, there's not much of option in there, but then in this newer version, they offer a smaller size. So whenever you see 4S, S means small, that means it's smaller size. So smaller size has a 40 millimeter screen, a 40 millimeter size of a watch face in here. And then they do offer, they still offer a standard size, which is the 45, same as old version. So if you prefer a smaller watch and you can, now you have option to buy a smaller watch in there. And then they do offer some beautiful colors for the smaller watch, like the rose gold and the white band in there. So um, I, I, I really like it. So now the second difference between the two watches, uh, in the Garmin new watch, they offer something called a body battery. So let me show you one example. So uh, what I mean is uh, just consider your body as a rechargeable battery. So every night when you sleep, um, the, your, your body is trying to recharge, you will see your battery level going up. And then during the day, depending on what kind of activity you're having, depending on your stress level, you're going to see your body battery going down and down. So, um, so just, uh, so, and it will even give you some suggestions during the day. For example, uh, it will tell you, hey, your battery is still high. If you want to go for, um, like, a high level activity, go for it or your battery is kind of low, please take a rest. Uh, one thing I want to mention is, um, say, Garmin's sleep tracking, a Garmin is able to certainly track your sleep during the night. Um, <clears throat> let me just turn off this. So Garmin is able to track your sleep during the night, but then... Uh, uh, somehow it is not able to detect any nap you take during the day. Um, during the four years I have you active three, I don't think it ever did that. But then using body battery, um, 
if you take any nap during the day, you can actually see your battery level going up a little bit. Or sometimes if you just sit down several minutes just trying to relax, uh, it is able to tell that your body is trying to recharge and trying to relax in there. So uh, I actually really like this new feature that tells uh, how much energy your body has and uh, give you some good suggestions. So, um, so now the, the third thing about this uh, new watch, Vivo Active... Um, um, Vivo Active 3 is, um, Vivo Active 4 is, uh, it has two new sensors in there. Uh, it has pulse oxygen, sen oxygen sensor and also has a respiration sensor in there. So it will tell you the oxygen level in your blood and also the number of respiration you have. So, so that means they actually put two new sensors in the watch. Um, honestly, I haven't find these two new features very useful because I don't really know how to interpret them. Um, they never make any comments saying what's good and how to improve it and the same thing with respiration. So, um, I guess unless they provide some information, some insight in there, I haven't find these two new features very useful. So, uh, another thing, uh, another, the fourth new thing about the Vivo Active 4 is, uh, it's actually a small feature, but I find it really useful is, um, since they are both touch screen watch, you may want to lock your screen most of the time so that you don't accidentally swipe your screen and make any changes. So they, of course, they both offer this uh, option. You can uh, like lock your screen. This is how I lock it. But then in Vivo Active 3, I have to always manually lock it. But then in the new watch, Vivo Active 4, they actually offer something called auto lock. So uh, let's see if I can find it here. You give it a long press at the bottom and uh, you go to gear and then you go to system and uh, see there's auto lock in here. So that means you don't have to lock your screen yourself anymore. It will always automatically lock it after you stop using the screen for several seconds in there. Uh, you're going to see that the lock icon pretty soon popping up the screen. So yeah, see, this is the auto lock. So it's a small feature, small improvement, but I do like it. Um, another thing is I want to show you their workout phase. Uh, there's some slightly different improvement in there, but I do like it. So to start a workout, uh, the two watches do the same thing. You press a button, you click around, and then now we start around in there. And then in my old watch, and uh, let's do around no more. All right. So you see the difference in there. I I, I like um, the new watch in here because you have all these four numbers in one screen. And then you can just basically see your, all the important status of your, your run in one glance. I never really have to mess up with my screen and change anything. I see four numbers. Uh, I care about my heart rate. I care about my pace. And sometimes I want to know how far I've been running. Um, the old watch, however, uh, it's kind of different the screen in there. So they show the heart rate at the bottom. They show the time at the top. But then, like, the distance is here. The pace is in here. But then sometimes you have to scroll to see other thing. And because the screen is not locked, um, it, it's like you're going to accidentally move it. And uh, just the like, information you want to see is not there. And you have to interrupt your run to see the data you want to see. So I do like this new design. Um, all right. So that's the five difference, main difference, I would say, I find between these two watches. Uh, there are some improvement here and in there, although just my personal experience, I don't see a main difference or major upgrade between the two watches uh, so it's really up to you uh, if you really like vivo active you if you like your old watch but then your old watch is like dying in my situation 
um, then go for it and upgrade to Vivo Active 4 in there. But then, um, if you can still hold on to your old watch for a couple of years, uh, maybe try to hold on to it and wait for the next Garmin watch to see what's new coming into, into the market. Uh, one thing I noticed is Garmin is now having a uh, something they call the solar charging lens. And you know, they only offer this option in some of the high-end watch. That means uh, they use this lens to, to, ex to take the solar energy and try to charge the watch in there. So it's really neat. And um, certainly it's not an option we can have on Vivo Active 4, but then I'm just hoping that in the future, once the technology becomes cheaper, uh, we can have that technology on the watch and uh, maybe someday we never really have to charge our watch and uh, we will never have to talk about battery life anymore. All right, so that's just my personal opinion. Um, hope that helped you to make your decision buying watches. All right, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.